Bowman here from BW1 and we're going to upgrade to Windows 8.1. Yes, the update is finally available today and we're going to do the update which is really easy to do. We have to start off here in the start screen. So this is where you want to start off at. If you haven't started off there yet and you're here in the desktop mode, you just got to go down to the left corner here, highlight start, brings you up here to the start screen. And then from there, we want to go into the Windows Store. And this is where you're going to see presented with this screen. It says update windows. It's for some reason it says windows 8.1 preview. That's okay. Cause when you do click on it, you're going to get the um, update page here. This is windows 8.1 pro with media center. That's the version that I have. And it's going to let you know to, that you can download it, tell you some information about the um, update. Some of the things that you heard before, improved store, improved search, Bing is pretty much all integrated in SkyDrive, all sorts of changes that have been made to the operating system, which we're going to go over a lot of that stuff, obviously in our review. And as we kind of go through windows 8.1 here. So on um, the download size is 3.42 gigabytes. So it's going to take some time for the download, no matter what kind of connection that you're on. It's going to take a little bit of time here. It can take anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour, depending upon your connection speed, of course. So we're going to go ahead and hit download here. You don't have to worry about your files or anything. Everything's not, nothing's going to get formatted or anything like that. But as always, you want to make sure you back up your stuff just in case of anything. You should always have backups in more than one place. So let's go ahead and hit download. And you're going to see install here. You're going to see this meter sort of go across. It says Windows 8.1 with Media Center Edition. If you have Windows 8, it's just going to say Windows 8.1 on it instead. It's beginning to download phase. So we're going to go ahead and let it do that and go through that process right now. And then we'll come back once we have everything upgraded and ready to go. Okay, after that long and lengthy download, it's like I said, it's going to take anywhere from 15 minutes to I think up to almost two hours now for that download to happen. But once the download happens and it starts the installation and it does the installation, it's going to reboot your computer probably about three or four times or so. But once it gets kind of finished with it, you're going to be at the licensing terms here. And all you have to do is click I accept. And you have the option of doing express settings or customize your settings. And we'll go through the customization settings here just to show you what they are you can ask if you're connected to a network do you want to find pcs devices and content on this network and i'm connected to these devices like printers and tvs yeah since we're on a home network this gives you the option for update installations i wish they had brought back the option for downloading but notify you when to install so that would be a lot easier but now all they do is just give you two automatics and don't set up which is I don't really like that. I wish they really had changed it back to the way it used to be on Windows uh, 7 where you had the option to download but notify. And you can see the check online for solutions help improve my Microsoft products and services. Go ahead and click next from there. If you want to share info, we'll just next, we'll just leave it on defaults for now. Um, you can sign it to your Microsoft account. So I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, you can see here we have everything set up to go. Let's go on ahead and uh, go through the next parts of it here, which is uh, SkyDrive now integrated into your Windows uh, 8.1 operating system fully. There's no separate desktop application. It's built in with the OS and it's automatically turned on. Your camera roll and all PC settings will automatically be backed up to the cloud and new documents you create will be saved to the SkyDrive by default. That way you can get them from any device, even if something happens to your PC. So you can leave this on or you can turn, it off, turn, turn these off if you don't want SkyDrive settings on, if you don't use SkyDrive. Leave it on for All now. Right, we're finally updated to Windows 8.1. One of the first things you probably notice here is the background on my start screen. The background on my start screen now matches the background that's on my desktop. So um, that's one of the features available on Windows 8.1 is being able to use your own wallpaper for the start screen. Definitely check out the video that we did showing you how to do that. That's a quick tutorial and definitely worth watching. And um, some of the other enhancements that we get is uh, we get the nice start button back here. It's right here and available. You just click on that and it brings you back to the start menu here. And you can do a little off more things on it. If you right click on it now, you get mobility center, power options, programs and features, command prompt, computer management, more power tools when you sort of uh, uh, right click on it. You can also shut down or sign out right from there as well too, instead of having to go to the charms. Now another thing about the charms that I noticed here is that um, it, when you go up here to the corner, you see the charms are kind of raised up here. But if I go down, char charms gonna come down here. So that's one difference here. Let's uh, bring in a couple of apps here. I know we can um, split apps like this, and I think we can um, now resize them accordingly to however we want them to. They don't have to be set at one size, which is nice. Let's see if we can add another app 
uh, available here. I think we can add, uh, let's add a new section here. And I can decide where to put that. We'll put that right there for now. I think I can move this in between the two. All right. And I don't know if I can bring a third one. And I think I can somewhere. There we go. And it's the third one. So I have three apps running in the Windows 8 mode, all at the Windows 8 uh, start screen mode, basically, the Metro UI all at the same time. So it's nice. You can close them out all as easy like that and get back to the start menu like that there. You can also have the ability to boot to desktop so you don't even have to see this start screen if you don't want it. You can boot right into the desktop mode. We have another video on that available too. So be sure to check that out on the channel as well too. And you can see all these cool things by subscribing to our YouTube page here and following us on all the social networks, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and at our main website at BW1 where we're going to have a ton of content available about Windows 8.1, different tutorials. We have some stuff that's on Windows 8 right now that still applies to 8.1. And we're going to have some new stuff that's in 8.1 available as well, too. So definitely check out that main website at bw1.com as well. So this is how to upgrade to Windows 8.1. Be sure to have everything backed up, of course. That's one of the key things I always tell people, just in case you don't lose any data. I didn't lose any here, obviously, but it's always good to have some just in case. You're probably going to want to set aside about anywhere from two to four hours to do this update because it's got to download it install it and reboot and do a few different things there so be sure to have some time to be able to do that but other than that upgrade and enjoy all the new features of windows 8.1 and always remember to live your tech world in high definition thanks for watching